Let's say you've decided to ignore some of my previous advice. You've just purchased yourself a Space Dragon from the market on the Centauri Ringworld, strapped on your favorite chainmail codpiece and sonic sword, and now you're going to ride head first into the nearest black hole. We know it won't take you to another world or galaxy, but what would you experience and see on your way to your inevitable demise? And what would the rest of the universe see as this was happening? And would they point and say, ew? And if you were falling towards a black hole, most of the time you would simply feel weightless, just as if you were playing Bowie songs and floating in a most peculiar way in the International Space Station. The gravity of a black hole is just like the gravity of any other large mass, as long as you don't get too close. But as we've agreed, you're ignoring my advice and flying dragon first into this physics nightmare. As you get closer, the gravitational forces on various parts of your and your dragon's body would be different. Technically, this is always true, but you wouldn't notice it, at least at first. Suppose you're falling feet first towards a black hole. As you got closer, your feet would feel a stronger force than your head, for example. These differences in forces are called tidal forces. And because of the tidal forces, it would feel as if you're being stretched head to toe, while your sides would feel like they're being pushed inward. Eventually, the tidal forces would become so strong that they would rip you apart. This effect of tidal stretching is sometimes boringly referred to as spaghettification. I've made up some other names for it, such as my own private string cheese incident, the soft serve effect, and ah, ah, my legs, my legs. So let's summarize. You wouldn't survive falling towards a black hole because you just wouldn't listen. Why would you ever listen? A friend watching you fall towards a black hole would never see you reach the black hole. And as you fall towards it, gravity would cause any light coming from you to be redshifted. So as you approach the black hole, you would appear more and more reddish, and your image would appear dimmer and dimmer. Your friend would see you redden and dim as you approach, but never quite reach the event horizon of the black hole. And if they could still see you past this point, there would be additional red from the inside of you clouding up the view. And hypothetically, if you could survive crossing the event horizon of a black hole, what would you see then? Contrary to popular belief, you would not see the entire future of the universe flash before you. What you would see is the darkness of the black hole fill your view. And as you approach the event horizon, you'd see stars and galaxies on the edge of your view being gravitationally lensed by the black hole. The sky would simply appear more and more black until you reach the event horizon. Many people think that it's at the event horizon where you would be ripped apart, and at the event horizon all sorts of strange things occur. Unfortunately, this goes along with those who suspect black holes are actually some sort of portal. For a solar mass black hole, the tidal forces near the event horizon can be quite large. But for a supermassive black hole, they aren't very large at all. In fact, the larger the black hole, the weaker the tidal forces near its event horizon. So if you happen to be near a supermassive black hole, you could cross the event horizon without really noticing. Would you be totally screwed? You betcha. So what do you think? If you could drop anything into a black hole, what would it be? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Never miss an episode by clicking subscribe. And we couldn't do this without the members of our Patreon community, people like Michael Green, and the many others who help us create and deliver great space and astronomy content. If you'd like to join our community, which gets you advanced access to episodes as well as extras and behind the scenes content, click here and head on over to Patreon. Would you be totally screwed? You betcha. Like a kid, or like a little kid, like you betcha.